Hi, so we made it through the first lecture and we had a talk and now we're going to make it through the next lecture, hopefully. Um, and you'll notice that my kids are here and that's because I want them to help me with this next part. So what we have to do is we have to find some Caldecotts and Newberries, okay? Some award-winning books. But yeah. We checked all of our house, but we couldn't find yeah. out. We found out we had no. How Just weird is that? Weird because we have so many books. Yeah, and we have zero award-winning award -winning books. books. How weird is that? Yeah. Anyway. Wait. Oh, yeah, we do have that one, huh? We have one. Yep. From the library, you'll see stuff like, uh, at the library and at bookstores and stuff, like you'll see stuff golden, like this. Uh, metals. Yep. You'll see those that are silver and those that are gold. Um, and, and, um, and you'll see, so that's how you can identify them. At the library, they usually have like a little sticker or something on the spine of the book as well. You make um, you make Thank you. So I want you to help me find a book. So we're going to go. There's lots of, of books here. Hold on. There's lots of books here. But I'm going to go to the City County Library site. And yes, you can say your name. My name's Tara, my brother. And I turned nine a couple of days ago, January 14th. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's. Search the catalog. Um, For award winning books. I wonder if, if I just search for Caldecott, if that would do anything. I haven't been on the library website in forever. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a Caldecott. Caldecott is an award for picture books for a really, really, really good picture book. Um, wow. Huh. It's like the titles. Hi, kiddo. Alright, so... Come on, Dad. Juvenile... Apparently. And I like Harry Potter. And I'm helping my daddy slam his graduation party. Hmm? What? Yes. Uh 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 uh. So I've been working okay. hard. I'm planning my dad's graduation party. Okay, hold on, baby. To Harry Potter. So there's another way to do this, right? <clears throat> um, the American Library Association, the children's like branch of that, does the Caldecott um, Medal winners. What I'll do is I will put that. No, Hey guys. Hey guys, thank you. Okay, well, next time I think I will do this on my own. I have to breathe, buddy. We've talked about this. I feel like I'm too lenient. So, put that in the additional resources. So, um, when you do your discussion board, actually, you're going to have to go to one of these and find it. And um, you can uh, figure out what books um, won these medals. And so, uh, for example... Um, oh, I know I have this book. Huh. Okay. 
Anyway, let's see where the past winners are. Okay, here we go. Um, Okay, there we go. Portraits of Hispanic American heroes. I have that one. Actually, I have it signed by the author. Um, I'm, I'm his daughter. <laughs> and then, usually at the library or at a bookstore, you're going to find this, this medal here. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what the, the Belpre Award is for. Um, cause that's going to go in the discussion board, actually. Um, but that's kind of how you do it. Um, I should have been honest. I should have been more prepared, right? But the good part about this is that um, I can show you how to get there from scratch. So the best way, I think, really, honestly, is to Google it and then go to the American Library Association. Um, the American Library Association is, is, ugh, is really what you want. Um, and that has most of those. Or you can Google the actual award, like the Lambda Award. Um, okay, so when you do your discussion, you are going to choose one of these rows, right? Like the Caldecott and the Newberry or Children's Literature Legacy Award and the Excellence in Early Learning Digital Media Award, Belpre and Batchelder, Siebert and Schneider, Lambda and Rainbow Booklist. So then you're going to um, post about yours. Um, doesn't have to be much. Again, it can be very, um, <coughs> very, um, uh, very flexible with, with the kind of thing that you post with. Um, and in the same timeline for what should be done and when it should be done. So, okay, so the last thing we're going to go over is the um, children's book proposal. So, this is one of my favorite children's books. Um, and I want you to take a look at this. And um, uh, it's a, an award-winning book, actually. And <clears throat> eventually, by the end of the course, you're going to write your own children's book. It can be any kind that you want. It can be an alphabet book. It can be a short story from middle schoolers. Um, it, can be, um, it can be a, a picture book with no words. Um, the choice is yours. So what I want you to do, again, like the memory project, is just kind of give me a few sentences about um, what you think you want to do for your, for your children's book. You're not locked into it, but I want some ideas about what you're going to do. Um, and then upload that to this folder. And... Um, Okay, so I do have that. Um, you can put it on here, you can do a video, whatever you want to do. So, um, and that's it. Next week, hopefully we'll be a little bit better for the lectures. All right, folks, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I'll be around. Shoot me an email, give me a call. Um, shoot me a text and um, yeah, I'll see you online.